Here we are, everybody, back again for another episode. Welcome, everyone. What's up? And I'm going to start it off right now. I was literally just getting off the subway, and some guy came up to me, and he said, well, your bald head and your shades on, you look like a doorknob with eyes. That's, I'm telling you. <laughs> that's what he said to me. That's hella random. That, that is that, very That's random. beyond random. Hmm? Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> It, you know, Trav, you know, seriously, if it happened earlier in the week, you know I would have texted you and said, bro, could you take a call? Because you know I would have to tell you about that. <laughs> seriously. You know I would have to. I so, know. I know. Yeah. What did you say to him, Peter? I was just like, I didn't even know how to react to that. You know? I was just like, <laughs> All I'm right. up with eyes. You usually have a quick comeback. He made the speech list. I was totally, because he was a random stranger, you know, like, I was just like, a door knock. and then I thought, I thought about it, and I looked and I looked in the reflection of the sun, I'm like, you know what, I kind of do look like a door knock. <laughs> door knock with eyes. Oh, man. New York, that's New York, they're just going to be totally. random ass people. Well, you know what they say you. about New Yorkers, right? New York is, uh, it's not that we hate everyone, we just hate each other. You know, that's <laughs> how it is. Tessica Brown, aka Gorilla Glue Girl. Uh, once again, uh, finds herself in trouble. <laughs> no shocker there. Um, Gorilla Glue Girl's GoFundMe account is now under investigation uh, because apparently people were calling and complaining that it was a fraudulent act and she basically just put Gorilla Glue in her hair as a social media stunt. I told y'all. Isn't that what I said? I told That you makes that. sense. No, nobody's that stupid. I said like, she had to do this to get some kind of attention because it doesn't nothing, mean, like... make, nothing about it made sense to me. I just would not do that because you just don't know what the what the aftermath is. Exactly. <laughs> That's is dumb. Her, is her hair going to grow or is it not? <laughs> is it just going to fall out? <laughs> <That> is, <laughs> she's got the permanent style. She don't need to worry about it. Oh my well, God, that video was funny though. Well, here's the thing. Believe it or not, after this whole thing happened, what I like to call the great cementation because she cemented her hair down. The mm -hmm. great cementation, she has officially gotten a, a um, celebrity management team for this. Mm. They manage, unbelievable, right? And she already has a merchandise line. So it just shows that in this country, you could do stupid things. I mean, really do stupid things. For notoriety. Things. And notoriety, yeah. and there you go. Unreal. Do I want to cheer that? I don't know if I want to give a cheer to that. I'm just like, <laughs> that's, cheers. that's a sip for no that. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, cheers. Not good. I'm not wasting no. this on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put my glass down. I'm waste my. I'm waiting. Kevin <laughs> said no cheers. <laughs> no cheers for that. All right. So there's no cheers. No cheers for Gorilla Glue Girl. He so, ain't uh, wasting Tessa, his sip on that. <laughs> Tessica Brown. Good luck. I, I hope you. I hope. I hope you get through at some point. Really, seriously. I don't know where else to begin with that. A another shocking, um, uh, by the way, another person wrote this in is that, and probably everybody knows already, but another shock, not really, is that Kim Kardashian filed for divorce. So, oh, yeah, I found that out. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No big shock there. Yeah, I thought she already yeah. did that like six or seven years ago, but somehow <laughs> yes, it didn't how long, happen. How long were they married anyway? So, about seven years. Seven. Oh. Seven years. They have four kids. Yeah, but. Did she really have four kids? I know they had North. So just North two. I think she had two, and, and she had surrogate for the other two, I thought. Yeah. Wow. Really? That's a, so that's how that happened there? Mm-hmm. That's how that happened. So, oh, okay. Because I was trying to figure out where the four kids came from. I know she had, I remember North. She had North. but uh, and, and a little boy, and then they had two more. Because I, I knew of three. That last one, I didn't know of until they showed pictures. And I was like, oh, wow. Mm. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Don't know where to don't know where okay. to know. So yeah. that's gonna be what? This should be her fourth wedding? Her fourth marriage? Uh, uh um she yes, she's been divorced three times already. So I guess this could I don't know. This is gonna be a third divorce. Mm. So okay. three times a charm there for uh <laughs> Travis, you're gonna waste a cheer <laughs> on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, I don't know. These are not very good chairs today. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I thought about it, but I... Well, at least it wasn't a flat out they're, they're no. Good chair people. The gorilla goose. Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Kardashian was like, uh, nah. 
<laughs> Nothing for Kim either, uh, travesty. Nothing no, for Kim. no, no. Well, how about it? How about a cheers for the fact that Crystal D's back today? Did we already cheer? Oh, no. oh okay. Yes, let's cheers. Oh, yeah, so we're all back. We're yes. all back. Um, so I'm gonna yeah, we're all back. For the two that I Welcome back, Crystal D. Thank you. One. Oh, okay, two. Yeah. Uh, all right, three. Well, what's the third? We're drinking. Huh? I don't know. You said one, two, three, didn't you? I don't know. No, I said two. I'm going to do two for the two that I didn't do. I'm doing two for the. <laughs> oh, I thought you started at one and, and Cheetah was at two. All right, well, all right. So I got to do two? Because <laughs> I had to keep up. I did like four now. I, I had to keep up with Travis D. He said one. I said, okay, one. He said two. Oh, okay, yeah, two. yeah. I'm going to, for the two that I denied, I had another two instead that we're all here and that Christmas. <laughs> Yes. Forget the mother two. These yeah. are the two yeah. so 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 uh Crystal, what happened at um at Abuelis for uh Valentine's Day? You couldn't see any old friends while you were down? No. I don't have time. I was just gonna see my grandmother, like, you know, old people are cool, you know. <laughs> and just catching up and you know, my friends are my friends, but because of COVID, I'm not trying to meet nobody except for my family members. And my uncle was there, my grandfather. So it was fun just catching up a whole year missed. Like, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, -uh I have to, I'm going to see her again in March. And in March, I'm going to come down and meet up with my friends. You know, I got to separate. I can't do one day full of meeting a lot of mm -hmm, people, mm -hmm. you know, this is not safe, but yeah. Yeah. It was fun. Very cool. Well, Very that's cool. good. Yeah. Mm. Well, that works. That sounds like a plan. So you know what, Tra Trav, I gotta ask you this. And we had this, we had this conversation not too long ago, but um, and we we did it on another show, but we couldn't put it out there. And I watched a uh, a classic movie last night. I watched The King of New York. Okay. All right. So my question, my question to you regarding um, regarding that um, King of New York versus, let's say, New Jack City. Which one you going with? I'm just a New, New Jack City guy, I think. I don't know. I, I, you know, I just like, maybe, it was so many funny things, not supposedly funny, but things that was funny in New Jack City to me. Mm -hmm. Different phrases and different things that happened. Right. But, but I, you know, they, they were both good. Yeah. They were both good. But I'm just a New Jack City guy. I just like everything about that movie. I hear that. I hear I, that. I well, for I make change. You know, it's so many <laughs> funny things in the movie. You know what I'm saying? So many. Well, books. I just want to let you know we have a special guest coming on right now, Rashonda. Rashonda. Hello, hey. Rashonda. Hi. Rashonda Parker. Okay. Rashonda Parker. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, getting back to what we were talking about, Rashonda, we were just talking about a movie. Maybe you know it. You might not. Uh, we were talking about a movie called The King of New York. Uh -huh. And I'm, we were, we were, are you familiar with it? No, I'm not. I'm not. That's, okay. Well, that's was, okay. That's okay. What about New Jack City? Um, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen that. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Well, listen, we were just talking about which movie was, well, which movie was, 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 um, either A better or B, which one would you watch over? Like, would you, even though maybe, King of New York is a better movie, but you would pick New Jack City over the King of New York. My opinion, it would be Goodfellas over everything. I gotta be honest. Still to yeah, this day. I like that one. Well, you didn't put yeah, that in the mix, fellas. though. You just said King of New York and <laughs> yeah. New Jack City. Hey, well, yeah, I but throw I throw that in there now. I, well, I didn't put that in because you know New Jack City and King of New York were sort of like very similar. It was during they the were. same time, and it came out around. Yeah, yeah. But then you know, Goodfellas was. I mean, that was the movie. I mean, it, it was. It was. It was. It was the movie. Absolutely. Absolutely. Crystal D, what do you think? Goodfellas? Yes, Goodfellas. All the way. That's what I'm Classic. talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Rashonda, now that you're officially on the show for this episode, question for you. Your sentiment and your um, opinion on Gorilla Glue Girl. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it could be me. I don't know if y'all really want to hear what I think. <laughs> say it, say it, say it. <laughs> It's the craziest thing to me. I don't understand why she would think that that would even be okay to put in her head is, is glue. I mean, I, I just don't understand. I've been talking about her for a while. <laughs> <laughs> 
somebody told me she was a, cause I haven't really followed a lot about her, you know, just this story. And someone told me she was a mother and a school teacher. Mm-hmm. Daycare, daycare, Rona. Mm. She's been around glue for many years. <laughs> she should know not to put it in her hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was just a crazy story to me, honestly. I just, it's, it's the memes and everything, you know, and I don't know. It's, it's just crazy. Yeah, it's speechless. There's nothing anyone can say. It's I mean, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's glue. <laughs> yeah. it and it's like the funniest thing when she typed and wet it and couldn't do anything and just dried it and say, see, see. <laughs> well, I mean, it's gorilla glue, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any kind it of holds me yeah, together really, really, forever. Really not the thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. That's that's something um, one of my friends said. Um, I can imagine what the warning label is going to look like now after this. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have her like this. <laughs> right on the side. That's what they should put. put they in your hair. Like this. <laughs> Listen, the, the, the warning label is gonna be an entire dissertation. You know, like when you go ahead and you peel back the label to read everything. Forget it. It's gonna yeah. be really <laughs> Don't do this, don't do that. We know already that you're not going to do it, but just in case you're Gorilla Glue Girl, don't do it. You know, so that's <laughs> there's, there's already been a bunch of copycats on that. There have been copycats. Uh, people have already been putting glue in their hair and actually that's other people have been putting in their hair. Yeah, it's unreal. Idiots. So, oh, wow. Rish- Rishana, let me ask you this, though. Have you, have you had to do anything, like, really crazy before you go uh, be- before you go on the set, like, for a shoot? I mean, is anybody, I mean, anything really wild like that? Not putting Gorilla Glue in your hair, but <laughs> I wouldn't do it anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, I got you. Um, nothing, nothing really crazy. I mean, all of my shoots, there's always something that I have to do to prepare for it. Like I did a um, shoot back in 2012, and it was for a competition that was eight weeks long, and we had to each model was sent things from a company. And we had to recreate a look um, using these things. And on this particular day, I had to be in a pool that looked like a waterfall, but it was a tornado watch, a a severe thunderstorm warning. Mm. All kinds of things were going on this day. And I had to look like nothing was going on. And I was just, you know, smiling, but I was scared to death. (laughs) But it's always something for all of my shoots that I have to, like, like I said, prepare for. I did a shoot where I had to be in like a um, a pool. It was a kiddie pool, kind of, sort of. But um, it was supposed to look like the water was dark around me. And me and the photographer were trying to figure out how to heat the water up because she had to run it into the studio with a hose. And it's like cold here. It's ice cold water. And it took forever to get it to a temperature to where I could really lay in it and it was still cold. But by the pictures, you can't tell, you know, that I was cold, but I was freezing. (laughs) (laughs) So it's it's always something, you know, I've I've had a lot of fun with my shoots, but I have to really like before every shoe is I have to prepare for it. Very cool. You're gonna do any shoot you're gonna do any shoots up in New York? Um, I'm supposed to be in New York in September. Yeah, so, well, don't, come up, right. don't come up now. It's freezing. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> believe me, I'm not. <laughs> My man's I'm... in 20 degree weather. Oh, no. <laughs> like it's 80 or something. Oh, what? wow. <laughs> I, I don't even, I don't I even know I... that I would know how to function in 20 degree <laughs> weather. I'm, I'm freezing now. It's like 40 something degrees here. Where are you? Oh. I'm in Georgia. I'm in Columbus. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Columbus. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> But um, I will be there in September. I do New York uh, Fashion Week. Um, our show was pushed back from uh, well, this month, actually. I should have been there, but I'm going to be there in September now. Ah, okay. New York, good old New York Fashion Week. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Um, do they do, still do uh, Fashion Week at the New York Public Library? They, you know what? They do Fashion Weeks all over now. It, it caught on so yeah. much. Because you know, when I used to work there, they used to do fat, you know, fashion week, and you'll see the models coming in and out and whatnot when I'm going and coming back from work, and they'd be out there in the Bryant Park area with the tunnel and all this stuff. It was very exciting to watch. Not that I could see it, but you know, you would see all models, (laughs) you know, you would see them around. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I've never done um, New York Fashion Week. I've only been to New York twice. This will be my third time, but the first two times we're visiting. Um, actually, I was going to New Jersey, but we would 
you know, come into New York and do things. But um, this will be my first fashion week in New York. I've done fashion week in Charlotte, um, North Carolina already. And um, yeah, I'm excited about the New York show. That's been like my dream forever was to do a New York fashion week show. Oh, yep. boy. It's big here too in New York and a lot of parties and a lot of events. You're going to have a good time. I've mm. heard. I'm excited. You know, is, there I, I hate... is there any particular venue you're going to be doing? Um, I'm not sure yet. I have to get all of the details still. Yeah, because you know, you'll be in one minute, you'll be in Tribeca, the next minute, you'll be up in Midtown somewhere. They, you'll be shuffled all over the place. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It sounds like fun to me. I oh, love that. I was there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've heard a lot about it. Um, but um, yeah, like I said, this will be my first time actually doing a show there. I was supposed to um, work with a photographer there when I come. It just depends on how much time I have because I'm still getting the details of everything right now. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Yeah. In COVID time, everything is shut down, and if they're coming back up, it's really going to be a lot of yes coming out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you yeah, for letting yeah. me know. <laughs> oh, you're I'm welcome. excited about it. I've, like I said, I I started doing this when I was 13, and there was <laughs> a period of time that I sat out <clears throat> and didn't do modeling at all, and I just really got back into this in 2019. And um, since I got back in, doors have opened left and right. And I'm just thankful and I'm blessed to have had all the opportunities that I've had in really like a short amount of time. So walking New York, I thought um, I thought about that when I was, I was younger, <laughs> when I started out doing this and it never happened, but it's finally, you know, now happening and I'm 43, but I tell people all the time that it doesn't matter how old you are, if you really you know, um, love what you do and you just keep going and you just don't give up and you never know what'll happen. You mm -hmm. look awesome for your age. Yeah, I yeah, yeah you look really. oh, like, I'm what? Like, what? I'm like, go, girl. Say, like, like, 29 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'll take that. I have a 23-year-old daughter. She turns 23 next month and then I have a 17-year-old son who he just got picked up by a modeling agency as well. Okay. And I have a nine-year-old son, so, but yeah, I'll be 44 in October. Good for you, yeah. Wow. Amazing, yeah. Cheers. 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 I'll, I'll hold my fake glasses. Yeah, I know, I'm a glass cheers. That's, that's cheer worthy right there. That's that is cheer yes. worthy. There yeah, you I'm go, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna order another round of cheers on that. Uh, cheers <laughs> to you, kiddo. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I, I'm going a, I'm to a just, I'm going a, I'm to a orchestrate the cheers over to Travis because Travis is doing I'm on the right road nice with, yes, you're on the road. <laughs> I know which one's the take and which one's the, yes. yeah, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not wasting that one. <laughs> cheers on this one. <laughs> uh, Rashonda, in case you're wondering, uh, Travis Key refused to uh, give us a cheers or give a cheers for uh, the Gorilla Glue Girl. He refused on that. He didn't deserve one. For what? <laughs> Look, I, I got to be with him on that one. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, what was we going to chat her for? I mean, you, know. Uh, you know what? You should give her a chance because she did something stupid and now she has a merchandise line and she has a management team. No they, well, That's no, true. No why? No why, why, why? To, why? to quote Don King, only in America, Rashonda, only in America. <laughs> oh, God. I'm upset. She got management? Yeah. Yeah, well, yes, she did. She has a big name exclusive entertainment management company that is now not only uh, managing her, but also got her a merchandise line. So, oh yeah. I'm yeah. doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, maybe but you I might need to I'm glue your hair down. And <laughs> <laughs> I have too much sense for that. <laughs> right, you know? right, right. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, yeah, by the I way, mean um, Tra Travis also uh, restricted uh, cheers regarding the uh, Kardashians' <laughs> divorce. Just want to put that out there. There are no cheers you know, for that I, either. I think me and Travis are going to get along great. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> I can't cheers for that one either, yeah. Travis. <laughs> thank you, thank Travis. You. Cheers yes, yes, yes. Thank well, you. Know, I, I, I have to get a refill though, because I'm out of cheers, Travis. Don't <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know might be they, we can not take. They lasted seven years. They lasted <laughs> seven years. That's not bad. Hey. This day and age, that's not bad. Oh. No. No I can't yeah. Hollywood. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's do one of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna happen. All right, gotcha. All right, fair enough, Travis. Look, I can't say anything. I might see them at the show. I can't talk about. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, you might. You know what? Don't even worry about it. Don't even. This, this, I'm just this, gonna. This, I'm just gonna. <laughs> You Does might Kim bust out laughing or something. Does Kim have a line? She doesn't have a line, does she? I think so. Yeah, she has I, a I, underwear line or something. Look, look, underwear I, line. I, I see, well, Sears is closed now, but I've seen her stuff in Sears. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, no, I think no they, did. they did. They <laughs> did. Really? That's I like, didn't know she had I mean, it wasn't Macy's or nothing, but I did see her stuff in Sears. I did. You know what? That was that was like some of the thrift stores putting out huge billboards <laughs> that they carry like Ivanka Trump. You know, that was hilarious. <laughs> I know her sisters have things going on. I know they do. I don't know about her. I've never I've never heard that she had anything. Well, yeah. you know, she tried to break the internet by flashing her backside. You know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> that, that, was, that, that, was her, that was her claim to fame there. She tried to break the internet by that. I, but she did. I mean, you can't hate. That's the hustle right there. The Gorilla Glue girl, look at this. I'm here trying to hustle. make my own career here and I ain't doing nothing stupid like that. So those right. stupid people, those stupid ideas, that's actually genius. I All right, so, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Gorilla Glue my scalp because, you know, obviously I don't have any. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> and I'm going to glue, glue a rug on it. We were talking about that. I glue a rug on it. There it is. I mean, <laughs> it don't. might work. <laughs> Look, don't do it. Ain't nobody yeah, yeah. They might just think it's his here. So, no, you, know. you need a new idea. A new idea. It's been um, done. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm out yeah, of order. You gotta right have now. another idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta be original. You gotta be original now. Well, you know, you're right about that, Rashonda. Absolutely right. I agree with you on that. I'll, I'll come up with something stupid. Trust me, I'm a man. <laughs> 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 Travesty, you already know, you know. <laughs> you already know. I can't wait to see. <laughs> no, you'll, you'll be surprised. Uh, well, then again, you might not because you're going to sit there and say, well, you know what? He's a man, so that's why he did. <laughs> <laughs> no it's got to be something that has not been done already. So, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that hasn't been done already. I can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs> <laughs> You know, well, hey, you know what? You, let, let's be honest. A couple of two guys got together. They made a um, uh, a prank call tape, and it spread like wildfire. The, the Jerky Boys. Remember? The Jerky Boys. Well, I love the Jerky Boys. Now I, was, they, I give, I'll give them a chance. I love the Jerky Boys. <laughs> All right. Let's see. You know what? Let's let's see if they come back. All right. Cheers to the Jerky Boys. There it is. <laughs> that would, huh? I don't know if all of you know. Do any of you know who the Jerky Boys are? I do not. Okay. I, I do, do, but I. I long time they ago. did films, right? Well, they did one movie. They, they did. did one movie. They did, um, right? Yeah. They did, but they they had like um. I was introduced to it in college when one of my classmates was like, "Hey, you ever heard the Jerky Boy?" I was like, "No." So he had this tape, and it, and he had a tape of their little pranks and stuff like that. It they're hilarious. Jerky okay, Boys are gonna... hilarious. They were. And they're called the what? Jerky, the, the jerky boys. boys. Like beef jerky? Jerky, jerky boys. boys. Yeah. Was, yeah. I that's a stupid name. Yeah. Be believe it or not. Believe Look, it or not when he stupid. said jerky boys, I was like, what the hell? What's, what, what kind of perverted name is that? Like, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? The thing was is that they were two guys from Queens. Mm -hmm. And they just started doing crank calls to people. And they were called But the they was disguising boys. themselves as like, like like some of the characters named Frank Rizzo, Brett Weir, uh, Saul Rosen, Rosenberg. Yeah, um, it was and so they, many. You yeah. remember they, all the characters? Yeah, you yeah. Them, huh, Travis? He's a it, he's a fan. It was, <laughs> it was you know it was funny. I mean it was it, it was again ahead of their time. I mean they they basically went to Radio Shack. They bought a two dollar adapter to record phone calls. And they started making prank calls, and they used to call a lot of the guys jerky. Like, yeah, I don't need to talk to you, jerky. You know, that's what they and they'll curse them out. Uh, it, it, look, matter of fact, they're streaming right now. I don't know if any of you got Spotify or whatever, but you put yeah. Jerky Boys in there on Spotify because I still listen to it. That's what I'm trying to say. That's how much I like it. <laughs> <laughs> put I'll, Jerky I'll Boys in there. Now, now I'm curious. Yeah, right, and right. just listen. Because you, you know they had CDs and everything. Tapes, yeah, and you can CDs. also you can also go to YouTube. It's on YouTube. They're all over YouTube, and yeah. it goes way back. It goes back to like the nineties. Like I think it was ninety four. Oh, wow. Is when yeah. I was I've been missing, I've been missing to like out. Ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, like you know I've been what? Missing it, out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you, they did all this right before caller ID. That's when it all really happened. It stopped after caller ID, but before that, you know, they were doing all that. You know, so. Yeah. That, that goes way back because uh, Crystal, I don't even know if Crystal was around for Caller Right before Caller Right. <laughs> yes. Crystal was around. Call call right I was just a baby. Like <laughs> yeah, no, but be, before the Caller ID, Crystal, were you around? For, no, you weren't. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I know I was. Start to like what? <laughs> 90 something. Yeah. 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 Around yeah. yeah. Well, you know, before they had caller ID, they had, remember that, that Travis, do you remember that promo? Not in time, press star six nine, remember that? Star six nine, yeah. Oh, star six time. nine, yes. You're making me feel my age now. <laughs> hey, listen, don't worry about it. We're all at that age. Yeah, <laughs> except for Crystal. <laughs> I'm almost, though. And she is a little <laughs> older than us, but she looks just as young as we do, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Travis threw me under the bus. Yeah, but uh, I said you look just I'm as just young playing. as we do. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No, it just dawned on me that I am the oldest yeah. in the group. Don't she don't, don't say anything. Right, so hey, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, speaking speaking of uh, uh, older on a different note, um, here's something really interesting. There is a Columbia University professor who actually admits that he does heroin regularly. And um, he's trying to lobby now to uh, make heroin, heroin actually legal as long as it's done on a... The <laughs> you, can't this, you can't make Why? this stuff up. <laughs> on a That's campus? the worst on drug. The Is he... Oh, no. Nah. Oh, nah. Professor, professor of uh, psychology in Columbia University has admitted that he does... Uh, heroin, sort of like the way we would all kick back and uh, have a drink every once in a while. He Wait, shoots that's up. That's not okay. That's not okay. And First of all, can we just get weed legalized before you're gonna fucking right. go jump from <laughs> zero to ten? Just bypass all... the small stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even like psychedelic shrooms, and they do mini dosing. Like, I could get on board on that, but everything else, no heroin. Well, there are uh, a couple of psych. There are a couple of psychotherapists that actually do the psychedelic shrooms. There is such a thing, apparently. Yeah, but uh, there's there's um, science that backs that up, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and it's from the ground. It's from Earth. It's not chemically induced drugs. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't jump from that to heroin. Like, there's no way. You know, I know what I'm saying? That's a major jump. <laughs> that is a major jump. He should be fired. I'm not sure why he's still a professor. But Listen, the thing of it is, is that heroin has never went anywhere. Like it's it's been steady but quiet, but right, yeah, right. it still never went anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like you had the boom for cocaine and debasing and it was booming, and then it went down to like snorting, but it's still around. But like with Oof. heroin, it was like the '60s, and then it got quiet for a long time, but still they were still doing it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was just quiet, but crazy still doing it. They're still doing no. it. No, that's zombie. How can he be a professor and do that's heroin? He, You're like a zombie. For some reason, I think a lot of them probably do it. But he's just the one that was like, "Look, I'm gonna come out and I'm just gonna say." Exactly. <laughs> exactly. exactly. He's all his professor buddies. They all probably do it. And they he probably was like, do. Well, I'm gonna let them know that I do it. So oh, you know. hell no, I would not be paying for my college course for my professor to be he drugged up. Gets it no. from all the students anyway. He put, oh, oh, hell no. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think when they're functioning, they're not so bad. They're still doing what they need to do to function. But I'm just trying to sometimes those, those pills make you look like heroin too. Like sometimes the different types of pills, those um, Percocets and things like that, they yeah. make you look like heroin too. You be out and doing this. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't have the track marks to prove it, but you still, yeah. I mean, I don't know about the high. If the high is still the same as heroin or pain pills, I've, I've not done either one of them because that's not me. I don't but. know anything about anything. I don't know. Well, <laughs> let, me just, let me just say this back in the day. Yeah, and Crystal, but nobody's prescribing heroin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, right. you, well, you, know, you, you know what it is, though? The whole thing with heroin, I mean, it is an opioid, so you can get something over the counter similar to that, I guess. But um, yeah, no one is yeah. prescribing heroin. You're absolutely right. 
But the thing that it's funny that she brought I used up. I to be a is, pharmacy technician. I know. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, listen. You probably did. You did. You make some extra bank back in the day selling something. I'm all. That's a bad. No, thing. I did not. <laughs> Now we know how she funded her modeling career. There it is. No. I'm just doing Don't this. Don't start about me. Well, the thing that's funny, and Crystal can attest to this, because we used to ride the same train every once in a while. I mean, not not together, but the L train, Crystal, the L train. Yeah, that's my train. The L? It, 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 it's one yeah. of the most famous trains in Brooklyn. I to, yeah, I used to take the L when, um, you know, when um, China's mom used to live in Bushwick. Right. And I used to take either the L or the J. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At that time, I was in Far Rockaway, so I would take the A to the J or either A to the L, whatever. And you know what? The thing that was hilarious about the L train is that the last car always going either direction, you always had every thug, every cutthroat, every drug addict in the last car. So what we used to do is we would go on to that car. We would actually lay bets on the guys that were doing heroin to see, you know, when it would start nodding to see if they would actually fall over or not. So <laughs> oh, gosh. I got a... <laughs> They never train. fall over though. They, they never balance. do. They go all the way down. They got good they balance. Touch. They're like, yeah. like, are you gonna fall? Like that weeble wobble thing. <laughs> yes, they don't. And they're on the edge too. And you're like, nah, this is the time. No, it's a wrap. They you, never you know, fall. Let me tell you, it was a great thing. You would be on the L train, and you you could make a fortune just laying bets down as to whether somebody was gonna fall over or not. That was number one. Oh my god. <laughs> It was great. It was harmless fun. We were kids. We were kids trying to make an extra buck. We were running odds on that, and we, you know, of course, um, that 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 died out quickly because some real serious people came on and took our took our racket and said, "We run this now." I was like, "Yeah, all right. Oh, okay." <laughs> Did they take your money too, Pete? No, they, luckily not. They let, we were just kids, so they let that go. But if we kept doing it, they probably would have. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that was I don't know about y'all, but um, the L train. I, don't, I forgot what stop it is, but one of those stops is um, aside from the uh, like the the platform is here, and on the other side is that big graveyard. You know what stop oh. that is? Oh, I think that's the, um, the Greenpoint. The Greenpoint stop is that the no. stop? That's nope. Greenpoint. I don't Isn't think no. so. No, it uh, the L doesn't stop. Uh, it stops it's near, at Walmart. It's almost near Broadway, East New York. Yeah. Um. Oh the my junction, gosh. But it's, it's like a stop or something it's before the before junction. Before the junction, it's a stop before the junction. Because okay. I lived off White Park, and it was like oh, the right. stop Wilson or Wilson. something else. That's Wilson. It. It's yeah. Wilson. It's Wilson. Yep. Okay. I just got a nightmare story. I'm just gonna need to tell. Okay. Um, <laughs> late at night. First of all, that's a scary stop at nighttime because the graveyard is right there and all that stuff, and it's just black and tombstones. Yep. But the platform is here. Other side is the that huge graveyard. Probably like one or two in the morning one time. Um, and it's barely lights. I mean, there's lights, but it's like them, uh -huh. eh, eh, you know, them lights that are really, you know, dim. <laughs> dim, like dim, from a horror movie. A blowout. Yeah. Now, this is the honest truth. <laughs> in the shadows, I seen the shadow of a rat. But you know how shadows look big, like on TV and stuff, even though the rat might be like this big, but it looks like it's like this. Because yeah. I'm standing, when you come out to that stop, you come out like this and then it's the platform. <laughs> but where I was standing, you could still see the hall that you would walk through. And this was late, late, late at night. And I saw this huge rat <laughs> shadow coming. Oh, and I was no. hoping this thing wasn't going to come onto the platform because I was the only one there. And this was like one or two in the morning, and the graveyard is there. I got this <laughs> rat thing over here, and I was very, very, very scared that this rat <laughs> was going to come and attack me because those those rats will attack you, you know. They will. <laughs> so I kept trying to ease down <laughs> to the end of the. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't even see the shadow no more because now it's just dark with them barely blinking, you know, barely lights that the lights that are barely on and dim. But anyway, luckily the train came a couple of minutes later. But that was a very scared stop to be standing at that early in the morning, like you know, that late at night. Okay, like, so now I want y'all to put together put together a list of places for me not to go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> take the L train and don't get off at Wilson <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> It is different. I it is know. different. No, no, New York is different. Now, now this is the 90s now. Yeah. This is like 97, it, 96. Yeah. It was a whole no, different no. place. But for well, some still, reason, I think that stop might be the same. Let me know still. Yeah, well, East listen, New York. 
East well, New York, you don't want to go. Brooklyn, well, you know, Williamsburg. Yeah, you don't want to go to East New York. There's no, no reason for you to even probably well, go there. I have, go there. Say, I, I have something to say about East New York. East New York now is actually starting to gentrify. They're starting to build over there. Mm-hmm. So, they are starting to build, but... <laughs> it's, it's, it's gonna be a lot of hard. It's yeah, it's gonna be a while. I mean, I'm not. Look, look, you know what, Crystal? I'm not saying to go over on Pitkin Avenue because that's always a lot of fun. Yeah, but yeah. you know, I'm not saying to go over there. But nah. believe it or not, yeah, East New York is uh, starting to come up because it's becoming very valuable. It's got a subway and it's got a Long Island Railroad, so people can jump on it either way. But yeah, uh, yeah. you know what, uh, Rashonda, just stay in Manhattan. Manhattan, uh, Brooklyn, though, no, yeah. no, no, Williamsburg, you want to be there because it's popping, like, especially if you're a model and everything like that, you want to well, be there, right. and yeah, Greenpoint, um, okay. but you know that what the is problem the with Greenpoint, you know what the problem what? with Greenpoint is, Greenpoint has always been, just been an ugly looking neighborhood, no matter how you try to slice it and dice it, it's just an ugly neighborhood, what? They, got the, they got those houses no. with the, with the, I'm with gonna the jingles disagree. on them. I'm gonna have to disagree. No, thank you. No, I'm, no, no, Greenpoint. What are you We're talking, talking about? about? Not, not Williamsburg. Greenpoint. <laughs> yeah, Greenpoint. Greenpoint is ugly, ugly with the town. factories and everything of it. Oh, come on! It was like I don't no. know. What was, I don't know what's worse, that of Queens. <laughs> I was just about to ask what makes neighborhood uh, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, no, wait don't listen to him. Wait a minute. Your neighborhood is your neighborhood's Williamsburg. I got nothing against Williamsburg. I liked Williamsburg. Yeah, but no, nah, but my no, no, no. But that's where I hang out. That's where I used to in, hang out was Williamsburg and Greenpoint. Green what are you yeah, doing? My, going to a bread factory over there? There's nothing over there. <laughs> what do you mean? It has all these great uh, thrift shops, um, coffee okay. shops. Yeah, we're talking about uh, that. Now. We're talking about it now. But you know, what? we're talking yeah. about what moved in there. But I'm talking yeah, about, about the back same. When was the last time Peter was? What time? Yeah, like, Peter was talking about? <laughs> I mean, I what are you talking about? Like, no, 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 no. As no, the but, park. I'm talking about the housing in general. It's ugly. It's got those asbestos shingles. Every every apartment building has those asbestos shingles. It looks <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, uh, but it depends on what part. Because to me, they have still the brick buildings. No, I'm talking about Greenpoint in general. I'm talking. You go down any one of the areas. Yeah, it's yeah. just got it's just got these ugly asbestos shingle plot areas. I don't know what you're it's talking amazing. about. But what's amazing, what's amazing is that these buildings were built and the people that owned them put the shingles over brick. You can't, you, it makes no oh. sense. Yeah, yeah, but, oh, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know what you're talking about because all I see is brick in Greenpoint. Maybe well, some right. houses you put the, the shingles, but most of them is brick. Look, we could, we'll take, you know what, Chris? Manhattan Avenue? What do what's you mean? Manhattan, Ave- Manh- Manhattan Avenue. I'm talking, you know what? Straight forward, you, going you, all the I, way down to the factories well it's a but well, that's it that's it there's only one area worse than that and that's bass but on the other side but yeah it's like oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. that's true but uh, i would never put i would never say anything about williamsburg because no. you know williamsburg I, I i absolutely loved i no. loved it always yes. but greenpoint was just an ugly neighborhood but <laughs> i went to catholic school in greenpoint that's why mm. all my friends oh, yeah. are from there that's why well, stay out of Greenpoint. No, 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 don't listen. Don't listen. <laughs> Trust me, if you're in your career, you want to be. That's okay. where actors, celebrities, yeah. uh, you want to be around there. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's amazing because there was at one time it was a neighborhood that was really just associated with factories and factory workers. Yes, that's and, true. You know, and they still have one original bar left there. I think it's called the um the pit stop bar, something like that. It's got the race car <laughs> on it. It's still there. It's still... Oh yes, yeah. it is. It is. Is it the pit stop bar? Is it's that what on it's um. <laughs> oh my god! I remember the, the racehorse thing, bar. and I'll never forget that sign. The racehorse, right? The racehorse. Yeah. Thing, not the car. The racehorse. <laughs> is it the pit stop? I forgot wait, it was wait, called. I don't remember. Stop. Bar, but it has a horse, race horse. No, it was. I thought it was called yes. pit stop, but it's the race. It's a race track, race track bar, but it's the horse. Yeah, yeah. all the like local go man. Okay. No, no, I don't know the, the name. Yeah, I don't. Remember I don't remember the name. the name, but I know what you're talking about. All I know is if you go in there, you got it's like one of the last spots where all where the rest of the uh, pretty much all of the Polish um, immigrants live and hang out at. It's yeah. like one of the last spots because everybody else sold it. Every all the other Polish people that were there left. That's true. Wow. They cashed out and took off. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so, but anyway, Rashonda, I apologize. Yes, Greenpoint <laughs> now. <laughs> Crystal. Like, Crystal. Greenpoint yes, yes. now is definitely cool. It, yeah, yes. It is. yes. So I can go there now. Yes. 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 It's not, yes. It's not, it's not as cool me. as Williamsburg, though. Williamsburg is cool. But literally, if you just, if you're in Greenpoint, you can literally cross the park that's there and yeah. then you're in Williamsburg. Yeah. And it's only like two blocks down. 
okay. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to go to a fun area where you can still get some action, you can go over to the Metro Tech side of Brooklyn where, you know, Crystal, Metro Tech, you know. <laughs> no, you can, no. You can it's still see match. a couple of junkies um, trying. You can lay down some odds on some junkies passing out. It'll yeah, you don't want to be there. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to listen to Crystal on this yeah. one. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> you can, yeah. When you get here, you just let me know. I will let okay. you know the places. <laughs> Because I can't yeah. let him know. <laughs> yeah, don't let him know. I don't know if I'll he's taking you. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just, let's, let's be honest, though. That area now, Metro Tech is hopping, too, though. Downtown Brooklyn. It is. Oh, downtown Brooklyn is. Yeah. It's just, it's just the it park is. over there is hysterical. Because, you know, it was another place to go to lay down some odds and make some money off the junkies. It was great. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's oh terrible. Crystal, I'll let you know when I'm there. Yes. Listen, yes. Crystal. I got you. Let, let me just say one thing Thank about you. Crystal. Crystal <laughs> was involved with the production of bum fights. She doesn't want to talk about it. She was involved uh, with the production of bum fights. Yes, she was. No. Yes. <laughs> no. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Well, really quickly to clarify, unfortunately, that was another thing that apparently happened in Brooklyn. I didn't even know about it. But some college kids that got together, they gave some uh, bums beer to fight in a uh, boxing ring, and it was hilarious. They filmed it, made a full <laughs> I can't. Fight. So, Crystal, like I said, yeah. when I get there, I will contact you. <laughs> yeah. I find it really interesting that everybody was quiet to listen to what the bum him. fights were. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah I got you. Other, one other area to really to go check out, though, when you're in Manhattan, though, is because Harlem also does a fashion week. Harlem Fashion Week mm -hmm. um, try to coincide with New York Fashion Week. And that's another hot, okay. real hot spot to go up to on 125th Street. And they have a lot going on up there, too. So that, uh, Crystal, can I, you could attest to that, right? I mean, Harlem's Yeah, it has there. a lot of um, art and um, just everything. Everything about New York, you want to definitely check out um, Harlem. Okay. Bars and stuff like that. Are you going to be here for the whole week? Um, like I said, still getting the details on it to see how long I'll be there. Crystal mm -hmm. D, are you going to shoot down maybe? Maybe we'll all get together. Yeah. Yeah, by then. I hope I'm living there by <laughs> then. That's what, that's my goal, so. Yeah. Well, you know, Rashana, keep us in the loop on that for real yeah. because yeah. Um, uh, we'll will. definitely all meet up. I, I can assure you I'll be on my best behavior. Uh, <laughs> most, <laughs> I, won't, I won't take Impossible. any bum fights. Impossible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the laughter on that one. Oh, wow. Travesty, come don't, on. Help me out here. Don't hey. even let that one flow out your I've mouth. I've known you please. since for a long time, Peter. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to say nothing. <laughs> but was it because of the bum fights? Was it with the bum fights? Thing? That was hysterical. Nah, I'm talking about junior high stuff. Oh, we're going way back. Oh, all the way back. <laughs> way back. Oh boy. You know what? I can't wait a minute though. I can't, I can't. Well, yeah. You know, a lot of people are coming at me now since we've been doing the show. Hey, remember back in school when you did, it's all coming, it's all coming to, to a point now. I'm, I'm getting in trouble here. <laughs> all the way around. Um, Rashana, let me ask you this before, after New York Fashion Week, what are the plans? Uh, or do you have anything uh, before Fashion Week begins heading up to uh, Fashion Week? Any more shoots besides what's happening Monday? Um, well, I just found out from the modeling agency that I was signed with that I was submitted for a documentary in Atlanta, Georgia. Wow, so nice. I, I, that's exciting. That's really good. I, I just found that out Cheers. today. Oh, um, she is worthy. She is yes. worthy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have a couple um, magazine submissions to do. Um, I was just published um, three more times. So that makes for me... I want to say eight or nine times I've been published in, in some magazines. So yeah, I'm excited awesome. about that. And um, I'm still, you know, trying to, you know, see what all I can get into. But stuff literally, like, comes up for me, like, almost every day. So I'm just blessed. I'm just blessed to be able to do it. Um, I do have a business myself that I have not been able to really focus on the way that I want to because I've been so busy with my modeling, but um, mm -hmm. I create jewelry. So I have a website that I'll be launching hopefully soon. He's waiting on me to send him some pictures and descriptions and prices. And I have not done that yet because I've been so busy doing this. Mm -hmm. But um, I always have photo shoots and fashion shows that I'm doing leading up to, you know, that I'll be doing a lot, I'm sure. Very nice. Very nice. So um, are, are we are we wearing any of the jewelry that you designed? I was just going to ask that question. Um, oh, sorry, Cheetah. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm stuff, 
for everybody else to wear. And I know that sounds bad because people have gotten on me so bad about that. But um, no, this isn't what I've designed. I can do stuff, but I just, I, I create it and everybody was like, well, why don't you advertise your stuff, you know, by wearing it? I don't know why I don't, I do it sometimes, but not all the time, but um, no, long, long story short, no. no. <laughs> but you need to do it. You need to do it. Cause I used to sell to crystal that. necklaces and I would wear okay. it and I still wear it and people still ask me, but I closed the shop, but that's how uh -huh. I used to sell my products, my bracelets yes. and my necklace. Trust me. It's just easy. And it was yeah, I know, easy sale. I know for my website, I will be modeling my jewelry for my website. Yeah. You know, I've been doing it since 2012. And so That's I good. started off um, just posting pictures on social media and people asking me, you know, how much. And that's how I started selling it because yeah. I didn't have it in my mind to sell. It was kind of like a hobby in the beginning. Same, and so, yeah. yeah, but I've been I've been doing it since 2012. So it's exciting. Some really great loyal customers from the first day I started you know so I still have them now <laughs> so yeah but I'll be modeling my stuff on my site well, yes you know and then what? let us know because yes I, I love jewelry mm -hmm. especially okay. unique pieces so just we are when it opens or I'll, I'll give you my email you just send me whenever you open well, okay. you know what we'll do? We'll also we'll also put a link uh, on our website over to uh, mm -hmm. uh, your uh, shop. What's it going to be called, by the way? Are you allowed to tell us what it's going to be called? Um, it's it's called Sugar. It's called okay. Sugar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice so design. I'll be. Um, thank you. My seventeen-year-old son, when he was younger, um, I was trying to figure out a name for my business because I, I thought about having one, but I didn't. You know, couldn't come up with a name, and so it was actually my son that named my business. He said. Um, you know, call it sugar. And I asked him why. And he said, because you're so sweet. And oh, my, that no. was my name after that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love that's it. Cute. That, yeah, that's a really yeah, nice. That's what he named my, my business for me. Wow. Very yeah. nice. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, you can loan the Coke money through it. You'll be all right. <laughs> I can do what? <laughs> Never mind. Don't read it. <laughs> you, could, you, could look, you could loan the Coke money through it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. I'm just She's kidding. Crazy. Yeah. Well, I don't know if anybody remember now. Crystal has to remember this, being a Brooklyn girl. And Travis, do you remember this? Because maraschino cherries. Everybody remembers the maraschino cherries. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I do, yeah. You and my best friend were just talking about that earlier. <laughs> so you already okay. So you okay? Because this happened a while ago, but maraschino was shut down for being one of the biggest drug operations. The maraschino what? cherry company. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, oh. I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know about that? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> No, they, I, we were regular stuff. Like they had a huge, they had a huge, they had a huge warehouse in Brooklyn, and it was for years. When I was a little kid, we used to walk by it, and the whole time it was a massive drug operation. Maraschino cherries is gone. The little cherries in the liquid, you know, in a little jar. Yeah, then, so good. Um, yeah, so Crystal, I thought you knew about that. I didn't, or maybe I just. Oh no, Peter, be, slipped away. How do you know? How, <laughs> which, 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 yeah, how do you know, Peter? Because all this stuff you bring it up, I'm like, I never heard of that. Then, well, well, first, you know, being in the being being in the media game, you get all the news, but that was okay. Huge well, that news. makes sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was huge news. Maraschino cherries. I mean, that was massive when uh, they, they were everywhere, and then all of a sudden, it was just released that they were yeah. uh, shut down for drug drug operation. Apparently, yeah. it was like a big thing about. Was this a long time ago, Peter? No, not that long ago. Maybe maybe a few years ago. Maybe about five years ago. Maybe really. Yeah, but I do sure. notice I haven't seen those that name in the store anymore, though. Yeah, well, that used to be the only notice. name you used to see. <laughs> I'll probably notice mm -hmm. now, but yeah, yeah, I hadn't noticed that I hadn't seen it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Wait, I Great just point. saw some cherries at the fresh market here. <laughs> 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 now I have to go back and see what brand that is. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. It's just a story that stuck with me. I was shocked. Um, growing up, growing up in New York, everybody knew Maraschino, and I was just mm -hmm. you never even expected it. You know, I was suspected any of that. I just did normal stuff with them, like put them on Sundays. You know, yeah. that's what I used to do. Yeah. Oh, so good. Make my own Who knew? <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh man, I could go for that now. Don't cream mm -hmm. it up. Mm hmm. I used to drink the juice. You know, I would drink me the whole thing. I'm not gonna lie, dude. The Sunday, the juice, the cherries, and pour it on there. Just pour it over. Oh, I'm a master man. Sunday maker, by the way. I, you know, I'm very good at making Sundays. But yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> well, you know what, Travis? What's the secret? Are you allowed to divulge the secret of a good Sunday? Well, the secret might have been those cherries, but I guess we <laughs> don't have no been. more. So. <laughs> now, now that we know. <laughs> right, right. Mm. Now, have you ever been on a subway train in New York? Uh, yes, I have. So you know how to read the maps and everything? Because that's what most people get intimidated by when they don't know everything. Yeah. They well, no. And they're like, look, no, you're not one I, of those, are you? You asked me, have I been on one? Yes, I've been on one. No, I did not know how to read. Okay, that's what I was <laughs> yeah, asking. Yeah, that's confusing. I, I was with other people. So okay, other well, people that good. was oh, with oh, me oh. how to read it. That's what I wanted to figure out. Because if you had tried to figure it out yourself, it wasn't going to work. Yeah. You would have to try to find someone to tell you what to do. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know what? If worse comes to worse, you can't read it. Just press that little button that says either Uber or Lyft, and they'll take you wherever you got to go. And that's what I do sometimes. <laughs> Listen, I'm I like, can take yeah. so much my whole life. Now, now, there was a time when Uber and Lyft didn't exist. I know. When people come in yeah. from out of town, they was like, what is this? That's I used to be like, hey, where you need to go? I'll just yeah. tell them this way, <laughs> that way. I was you know like, what? it's not as hard as it looks. Uptown, mm -hmm. downtown is all you really need to know. That's, That's all you really need to know. You know what, though, Travesty, let me ask you this before Rashonda, you go. Let me ask you this, Travesty, because I am guilty of this. Have you ever given people, especially tourists, the wrong directions? No, nah, I'm not that oh. evil. I wouldn't do that. I, I, don't, I never did. <laughs> wait, wait, purposely? Or yeah. That he is purposely. purposely. He's this is what you're dealing purposely. with here. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't do that because, yeah, yeah. People, people. People would ask me, people would ask me, hey, how do I get to the Statue of Liberty? I would tell them that, how to get to, uh, you know, Rockefeller Center. <laughs> or, no, why? No. Or, or, you know, special, my favorite thing, my favorite thing, Travesty would love this. I know. So he, might, he might do so this, wild. though. Travesty right, right. might do this. People came up to me with Mets uh, paraphernalia on, and they were asking me how to get to, uh, at the time it was Shea Stadium, now it's City Field. Uh -huh. And I would send them right to Yankee Stadium. Yep, jump on to <laughs> number four, take that up to Yankee. <laughs> But I would say take it off that at um I forgot what uh oh, what what stop was it for Yankee? Oh my gosh! You know, they would take so it up there. Not and, to ask for directions. Yes. Got it. Don't ask. Don't don't ask anybody that, that sounds like me for directions. That was brutal, PD. If you're gonna send them to Yankee Stadium. Yes, that and was it was brutal. always during a game, which was great. I, I, I even sent them during Mets Yankees. I would send them to Yankee Stadium if the game were at Shea. Or city field, I would say. And how like far it. are those places from each other? I know. Two separate boroughs. It's oh. like a, yeah. It's, it's like far it's like <laughs> it's too, too far, far to when you get there to try to come back. Yeah, I, I mean, be, you know, I you gotta get on the so train field. and take another train, all the extra stuff. I mean, I you can be, get there, but I, I mean, you would just be annoyed to do it. Is the bottom line. Right? Yeah, I, I think that's what it is. I would spend my whole time. Who is that guy that gave me the wrong direction? Let me say this. Let me say this. There are a lot of people out there right now looking for me. And since we're online now, yes, they'll know where to find me. Because I've given. To <laughs> I, I, well, you know what? Back then I had hair, so I might get away with it. But I've given wrong directions <laughs> for years. But Absolutely. we're going to take care of that, Peter. When I get there, we're going to take care of that because I'm going to have gorilla glue uh, so that people have hair. <laughs> just don't give me a flat top because that's what I used to have back in the day. I was rocking a flat top fade. The hell did you ever have a flat top? I did. I had a flat top. I can't even imagine it. You got a picture. Of, I had hair. We, we need some data. We need some evidence for this. You have a picture. Oh, you got, you I, got need, a I need to see that too. I never oh, seen well, you with a flat top, Peter. I just well, remember. You know, to be honest, you know what? To be honest with you, uh, my high school yearbook is still at the bottom of a swimming pool at my ex-wife's. So, uh, <laughs> oh along my with all, along with my guitar collection and everything else. So, yeah. So, so I, I don't even no know proof. what that is. What's up? So there's no proof, man. No proof. No data. Um, somewhere, yeah. somewhere. There's always I, someone has a picture. Well, you know what? Travis he knows my parents. He could probably get it. He could probably, you know, call up my parents and they can send that to him. Oh yeah. Sure, <laughs> yeah I've known that well. I mean <laughs> yeah, they remember like, you. Travis who? I'm like uh, in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I went to his uh, Burger King birthday party. You <laughs> they're not gonna remember that, Pete. <laughs> you never know. They might. <laughs> You, you know what? They might. I mean, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, they might. They might. Because that, yeah, right? yeah, that, <laughs> that was a one-time event, right? The birthday party. That was a one-time event. Remember that? When people used to have birthdays in McDonald's, <laughs> Burger King. They don't do that anymore. No. Can you picture Peter having a birthday at a Burger King? <laughs> was it Burger King or was it McDonald's? It was I Burger think King. It was Burger and King. And they both do it, yeah. Yeah. I think they used to. 
Trav, yeah. do you do you remember that when the actual king when the king came out? Do you remember that? I Some, see. I don't remember all that. <laughs> I just remember eating my little burger. That's all I remember. Wait, when the what? When the king parents, came out? My parents. My my parents got some got, got one of my drunk uncles to dress up as the Burger King and come to the party, and he was so damn drunk. But, you know what, Travis? I was hoping you didn't bring that up because that was definitely traumatic for me. I actually don't remember. I don't remember that. Uh, I might have been traumatized. I don't know. He was he was so traumatic. Where did he get the costume? He was uh, he, well, New York. You can get any costume. Believe me, you can get any costume. In New yeah. York. He was he walking so around drunk. Times Square like that. He might have made uh, some money. He was he was so drunk he just passed out on one of the on one of the um one of the uh chairs he was gone in one of the booths he was passed out and the, the king was passed out that's what happened to my birthday wow <laughs> yeah. long time ago yes <laughs> <laughs> well Rashonda when you come up to New York definitely make sure you contact us you got my info so you know Crystal will shoot some Crystal just reach out to her on Facebook and shoot everything over to her. Yeah. So, I will. And when all you right, come up here we'll we'll all meet up and uh <laughs> you know what you got Crystal she she won't steer you wrong even if uh, you know you think if I if I give you a suggestion just look at Crystal when I'm not looking Crystal <laughs> okay. give you, you know you know <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Well, again, it was wonderful having you, Rashonda. Anybody want to say anything before uh, we let uh, Rashonda go? Well, I'm it proud. was a blast having yeah, you. Yeah, it was nice like, having you. The best guest thus far, mm-hmm. not to make any mm-hmm. us. We, they've all been great. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, you've been great in your own way. So yeah. Thank you. Continued success with your modeling thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Thank you. remember to check out those jerky boys. And that's it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm I'm going immediately there after this. <laughs> Cause, Cause you're gonna it's gonna make you laugh. It's gonna it's really funny. One of them reminds me of Pete. Peter Peter reminds me of one of the characters named Frank Rizzo. Okay, uh-huh. Frank Rizzo. Remember that name? Frank of- Rizzo. Okay. Yeah, I work on race cars. Frank Rizzo. I work on race cars. <laughs> I wrap a ratchet around your head. Yeah. You know. Oh my god. I'm gonna check it out. I'm I'm curious. All right. All right. Well, stay safe out there. Remember to wear your mask, young lady. I do, all the time. All right. Talk to you soon. Be safe. Bye. All right. Thank you all. Bye. It was nice to meet you. Bye. You too. Bye. <laughs> well, this was a great show, and it's that magic time. Gina mm. uh, Ree, you want to start it off? Yeah. All right. Be safe. Until next time, we out. Oh. It took my line. Oh. I don't got nothing to say. Crystal D. Oh, peace of my tears for the show, so I took your line. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Anything you want to say, Crystal? <laughs> I just said peace and love, guys. Like peace usual. and love. Peace. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, everybody, be safe. Stay warm. And uh, looking out for everybody, all the peeps down in Texas. I hope everybody's hanging oh, in there, recovering. Yes, yes, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Recover. Mm-hmm. Everybody stay safe and remember, wear your mask. Travesty? Even though Cheetah already said it, we're out. <laughs> Took all the buzz away from it. <laughs>